doctor's visits, flu shots, drugs, lab tests, some surgery, all paid for by local taxpayers. Hmm. Now, they, all, all illegals, of course, can go to the emergency room. That's the law. Right. You're sick, you go to the emergency room, they got to treat anybody you. Anybody can. They, anybody can do that. So now you add on top of this the free coverage that's given in some counties in America, and you've basically got health care coverage for illegal immigrants being paid for Probably by middle America. Of That's course, because, first. right, because there's so much federal money to the states. Hillary Clinton has now come out for adding right. illegals to Obamacare. Uh, uh, that her changed? daughter Chelsea said yes. And she has let's, now said. Let's cover it. Point She's point now said. Yes. That, that's right. So what you've got here is that you, you are stabilizing the, the, the illegal population in the United States. They've got education. They've got health care. They've got driver's licenses in many cases. They are here. That entrenches their position in America and seriously squeezes local budgets. You want to build a new road? You want to build a new bridge? And yet you've got to pay for illegal health care coverage at the same time? You're getting squeezed from all sides here. Such a good point. It's suicidal. The, the politics of this to me is that most of these counties are Democrat run. Of course. I think the Democrats are buying votes. They're buying the Hispanic vote with somebody else's money. Of course. That's and my political interpretation of what's well, going on. Well, after health care and schools comes voting, it'll happen. Uh, yes, and I spent 40 years as a legal immigrant, not being a citizen, and I couldn't vote. Do you realize that? We are glad to have you. Thank you very much indeed, Tucker. You are a, li <laughs> you are a living argument for some kinds of immigration. Thanks a lot, Stuart. Thanks, Tucker.